Hello, and a very warm welcome to everyone joining us for this webinar to kickstart your studies with Study Hub. My name is Barry Walsh, and I am Professional Learning Content Lead here at ACCA. My background, I'm SEMA qualified, I've worked in accountancy practice and in industry, and have spent the past two years overseeing ACCA Study Hub. I'm delighted to be joined today by two colleagues who have played a huge part in the development of the Study Hub, Catherine Cowan and Nick Ryan. Over to you, Catherine. Hello everyone and welcome. We're absolutely delighted you've taken the time to join us in our webinar today, which we think you're gonna find really helpful wherever you are in your ACCA journey to membership. My name is Catherine Cowan and I'm an education IP lead with ACCA. I'm one of ACCA's team of subject matter experts responsible for the study hub learning content and ensuring it aligns with the current syllabus. Before joining the Study Hub team, I was part of ACCA's examining team for six years, responsible for the tax exams. Before that, I taught accounting and tax, including ACCA courses for nine years at university. I'm also a chartered accountant, a chartered tax advisor, and a qualified lecturer. I really hope you enjoy today's session. Over to you, Nick. Yeah. Hi, everyone. So welcome to this webinar. I'm Nick Ryan. I've been working with the Study Hub team now for just over a year. My role is the same as Catherine's. So what I'm doing is sort of updating the Study Hub, writing new material when necessary, when syllabus changes happen. And before joining ACCA, I worked as an author for two of the ACCA tuition providers, so writing ACCA material for them. And prior to that, I worked as a tutor teaching ACCA courses across Eastern Europe. So um, I've been working very heavily with ACCA for longer than I'm going to confess to you here, but a long time. So welcome, and I hope you find the uh, webinar useful today. Over to you, Barry. Thanks, Nick, and thanks to you, Catherine, as well. So we're really looking forward to showing you how you can use Study Hub to achieve exam success. Before we get into the main part of the session, some very quick housekeeping points. First of all, there are resources available to you in the session, including a PDF version of these slides. Secondly, you can enter questions in the question and answer panel, and we will answer a selection of these questions at the end of the session. And finally, you will receive a link to the recording of the session by email within the next couple of days. Okay, so we have a packed agenda, as you can see, including a demonstration of Study Hub. We'll also have advice for you about how to make the most of the hub. That's whether you're a self-study student or whether you are studying with a tuition provider. We'll also have advice for research students as well. And as I said earlier, we'll finish with your questions. But we want to start by finding out a little bit about the group we have attending the session today. So we have two very quick polls for you. First of all, the first poll, how do you study? Are you a self-study student or are you a tuition provider? If you could click to indicate whether you're self-study or whether you're studying with a tuition provider, please. Okay, we'll give you a couple of seconds. Please click. I th looks like uh, a few have, but there's plenty more to... Uh, we've got over 600 people in the session. Okay, we've got over 200 answered, so that's great. It's about 30% of you. A couple more, sec uh, more seconds. And let's have a look at, at the results. Okay, so we've got a, um, a group that is two thirds self-study and one third studying with a tuition provider. So as I've said, we will cover um, how the study hub can help both of these groups as we progress through the session. The next question we have for you, how confident are you using study hub? Are you very confident? Are you reasonably confident? 
or are you not confident at all or have not yet used the study hub? So please click either A, B or C as quickly as you can. Just give you a little bit of time to, to make your selection. We've got about 50 people have selected out of the 600. Okay, we're up to about 150, a couple more seconds. And let's take a look at the results. Okay, so over half of you have not used Study Hub or are not confident about using Study Hub. About a third are reasonably confident. And we've got um, around about one in 10, maybe a little bit under, who are already very confident using Study Hub. So we really hope that we can help um, the people who aren't confident and have not used Study Hub and perhaps also provide a couple of um, nuggets, a couple of gems perhaps for the people who are very confident or are reasonably confident. Let's take a closer look inside Study Hub, your ultimate study resource. It's a digital hub. Study Hub gives you online access to study materials from ACCA. It works like an ebook with added interactivity. It's a knowledge hub. Study chapters help to increase your understanding. A visual overview shows all the topics in each chapter, so it's easy to see how they link up. It's a revision hub. End of chapter quizzes put your knowledge to the test. The multiple choice questions are automatically marked so you can review your performance. Flashcards test your knowledge of key definitions. Check your answer against the definition on the reverse of the card. Practice questions help you prepare for your exams. You can instantly compare your answers to the suggested solutions. It's an anywhere hub. Whenever and wherever you want to work, Study Hub is there on web and mobile. It's a success hub. 79% of students said Study Hub made them more confident. 90% said they would use Study Hub again. Use Study Hub to help boost your progression. Just go to your My ACCA account and click on the Study Hub link. Okay, so that very short video provided an overview of what the Study Hub is. It's more of a marketing video, if we're honest. It's just giving you an idea of the intention behind Study Hub, what we are trying to achieve with Study Hub. So what's included in Study Hub? Well, we've got study text chapters. We've got practice questions. We have interactive quizzes and we have flashcards. And as we progress through this session, you will see inside Study Hub and you will see different examples of the different types of content. What levels does Study Hub cover? Well, it covers all levels from FIA through to applied knowledge, applied skills and strategic professional. And what does Study Hub cost? Nothing at all. Study Hub is free to all students who access Study Hub via your My ACCA account. So that's a very, very quick overview. Uh, before we go back to Catherine and Nick for some um, tips on how best to use Study Hub, we do have a another video. Now this video is a little bit longer. It's around about seven minutes, but it is worth watching because it shows you in detail the different types of content available within Study Hub. So please do focus. The video will start in a moment and it will run for approximately seven minutes and then we will come back and talk about how best to use Study Hub. The Study Hub is accessed through your My ACCA account. The link to My ACCA is on our website homepage, or you can simply use the URL myacca.accaglobal.com. I'll now log in using a demonstration account, and here is the My ACCA portal, which I'm sure you're very familiar with. Once logged in, Choose My Qualification and it loads your qualification information. 
we're looking for the link to the ACCA Study Hub. And there it is, towards the bottom of the list. So let's click it, and the Study Hub will open. Simply choose your exam, and for this demonstration, we'll choose Advanced Financial Management, or AFM. So why don't you choose this now, and we'll explore the Study Hub together using AFM as our example. And it opens initially with the study text. And you can simply start accessing and reading the content. Let's go into Chapter 2, for example. And as you read each page, you rate your confidence with what you've just read and learned. Either high, medium or low. Now, a great feature of the Study Hub is access by clicking on confidence levels. Here it ranks all of the pages you've studied by confidence level. And then it's so easy to revisit the pages that you ranked as low confidence, for example, as all the pages are directly hyperlinked back to the study text itself. You've got other tools available in the study text. Over here you can see some icons and this is where you can access the highlight function, the bookmark function, and also where you can make notes. To use the highlight function, select the relevant text, press the highlight function, and there you go. But even better, you can easily see all of the sections you've highlighted by clicking the menu option at the top of the screen. And there's what I've just highlighted, and again, there's a hyperlink back to the page itself. You can review your highlighted section in the context of the other content. This really is a useful feature of the online Study Hub Study Text. You can remove the highlight, and you can bookmark an entire page. Once again, you can see everything you've bookmarked by using the menu at the top of the page and easily link back to the bookmark page itself. The final tool here allows you to take notes while you are reading. Again, a really useful online tool that encourages you to actively read and make notes as you go. And once again, you can access your notes using the top menu and, of course, link back to the relevant page in the study text itself. Just when you thought that was all, there's a button here called Toolbox. And here it contains a basic calculator. And where relevant for the exam subject, there are also formula sheets and discount tables. Now, that's the main features of the study text but there are other resources available to you. Let's start with the flashcards. And here they are. Key terms that you should be aware of and comfortable with as you study for the exam. Try and explain the term and then click to turn over and see if you were right. You can rank your attempt as either not right, partly right or just right and so on, you can do it with each of the flashcards. You can review all the flashcards like this, or you could simply review them as a list by clicking the List Menu button. Next we have quizzes, and there is a five-question quiz at the end of each chapter of the study text, just to check and reinforce your understanding. You can access them directly from the study text, all like this from the main menu. Let's do the one from chapter 5 and you can see that there are multiple choice questions and at the end of the quiz you can see how you've done but most importantly you can see detailed answers to each question as well. The final resource is the practice questions. These cover the whole syllabus and will help you get ready for answering exam standard questions. While well, reading the study text and doing the quizzes are fantastic for building knowledge. To really get ready for exam success, you need to practice, practice, practice exam standard questions 
and here they are. Using these in conjunction with the questions within the ACCA practice platform will really help you to be in the best shape possible on exam day. Let's look at one of them. Here's the question. And just be aware there's also a clock function so you can see how long you're spending on each question. To start answering, you click Plan Answer. Once you're done, click Confirm and you get to see the model answer, which you can use to compare and even mark your own attempt. Remember, it's vitally important to debrief practice questions thoroughly, to get the most out of each question attempt that you do, and to make sure that if you attempt a similar question in the future, you are able to improve your performance. And those are the key features of the Study Hub. I hope you agree that it is a fantastic suite of resources that will help you get ready for your next ACCA exam and help you achieve exam success. OK, so quite a lot covered in that seven minutes. Reflecting on what we've just seen, Nick, if I could come to you first, if you had to recommend one Study Hub feature, what would it be? Right, well, the feature I really like is um, at the end of each chapter, there is a chapter quiz which has a few questions to answer. And once you've done the questions, you're reviewing questions, um, there's a feature which allows you to click back to the technical area within the, pay within the chapters from which that question came. So. If you get a question wrong and you realize you don't know that area particularly well, then you can click on this and it'll take you back to the chapter and you can read up on it. And I think that's a really good way to help you focus on those areas that you don't know perhaps so well. So that's that's Great. the feature I particularly like. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. What about you, Catherine? Is there a study hub feature that you think is particularly effective? Uh, yes, Barry. Um, I, I totally agree with Nick. I think the quizzes are amazing. Um, and, you know, overall, I'm absolutely blown away by how great the, the resources are. So it is actually really difficult to, you know, narrow it down and pick just one feature. Um, but I think for me, if, if I was to narrow it down to one thing, it probably would be the flashcards because I can still remember as a student trying to recall key terms and, and what they meant and perhaps even making up flashcards um, for myself, which was obviously quite time consuming. So, of course, we've done it for you with um, Study Hub. All the resources are there. The flashcards are there. And you can test your understanding at any point, whether you're just starting out with your studies or whether you're absolutely, you know, almost at exam stage. You can just pick a flashcard, quickly check your understanding and make sure you're absolutely as exam ready as possible. So brilliant resources mm -hmm. overall, but flashcards for me, probably the favourite. Excellent. Thanks, Catherine, and thanks, Nick. So we're obviously very proud of Study Hub, and we believe Study Hub is having um, uh, an effective impact um, in the marketplace and is helping students succeed in ACCA exams. But what do students themselves think? So many students have already benefited from Study Hub and have provided us with feedback. So on screen now is a small selection of feedback that we have received from students. Looking at the quotes, one common theme is how Study Hub should be used together with the practice platform. So Study Hub and the practice platform are complementary resources. Use Study Hub to gain knowledge across the whole syllabus and to practice applying that knowledge to examination style questions. Then use the practice platform to attempt full mock exams in the real examination environment. Or, we, and we should mention that practice platform doesn't cover all levels. So it doesn't cover um, the FIA level or the applied knowledge level. So therefore, you would use Study Hub in conjunction with the specimen papers and the practice tests, which are available via ACCA Global. 
So, Catherine, I, I know you've had recent contact with student groups. What have students said to you about Study Hub? Yeah, thanks, Barry. I mean, it's so great to get the, the feedback directly from students um, to hear how they're getting on with, with using the resources. And what we hear a lot from many students is that they really appreciate the flexibility that Study Hub um, provides. Um, so obviously, you can fit study into um, a busy schedule. You can study 24-7 if you want. Um, you can do it any time um, that, that suits you. So that's the, the the, the main feedback that, that we get is that um, students can use it in a way that really suits them. So um, we've got a little bit of feedback here in a, a short video from two students who have used Study Hub recently and they just want to tell you all about what they think. Sorry, I think we've had a bit of a technical glitch there. Apologies, um, we do. We, 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 we yeah, have. sorry, we will play that one again. Bear with me a second. I was also the national top in the strategic business leader exam. And should I let you in on a secret? It was through the Study Hub. The Study Hub has all the resources at the click of a button. And you know the best part? It's totally free. I and three of my friends formed the study group. Then two of them, Juliet and Arit, introduced us to the use of the ACCA Study Hub. I dare say that this was the most important decision we took building up to the exams. Great to hear that feedback firsthand. And we do love hearing success stories. Really makes it worthwhile to know that Study Hub is working and is out there helping students pass exams. Nick, I know you've done some work looking at data from Study Hub users. Could you share a key statistic with us, please? Yeah, sure, Barry. Well, as you can see on the screen, um, in the most recent exam, in December 2023, um, our statistics show that people who'd used the Study Hub got a 9% higher, in other words, 9% more people who use the Study Hub passed than people who didn't. So it certainly seems to be doing it, doing what it says on the tin. So we're very happy about that. So Great. Thanks, Nick. Much appreciated. I think another key um, factor to point out is that when we look at data from study hub and practice platform users so students who've engaged with both key resources the study hub and the practice platform those students have done even better so i think it, it shows that the resources complement each other and are intended to be used with each other yeah. moving on so we know that study hub is having a positive impact and we also know that different student groups are using Study Hub in different ways. For example, self-study students are spending more time in Study Hub than students who study with a learning partner. So thinking now about self-study students, Nick, we'll, we'll stick with you. What general advice would you give to self-study students who are using Study Hub to prepare for their next exam? Okay, Barry. Um, well, what the first thing you need to do is do some planning. So once you've registered for the exam and you know how long you've got until the exam, split your time up into three phases. The first phase is what I would call the study phase. And during this phase, you're studying, trying to learn the technical material by going through the chapters in the study hub. The second phase is the question practice phase. And at this point, you've studied the material. You're now practicing using the question practice in the study hub. And what you're trying to do is apply your knowledge and gain some exam technique. And then the final phase 
is what we call the exam rehearsal and technique phase. Now, this is the point where you leave the study hub behind and you go to the ACCA practice platform and you practice the real life sort of past exam questions on the practice platform. And that should include doing mock exams just to really test your knowledge to get you ready for the exam. And obviously, when you're planning your time, you do want to make sure you give yourself plenty of time for these question practice phases and exam rehearsal and technique phase. So, you know, you're probably at least 25% on each of those of your time. So 25% on exam rehearsal and 25% on question practice, I would say. Thanks, Nick. Catherine, coming to you on, a, on, on the same theme, really, what general piece of advice do you have for self-study students? Yeah, thanks, Barry. Um, absolutely. I think the planning stage is so important um, because otherwise what tends to happen is the, the time just disappears and before you know it, um, it's exam day. So I think really looking ahead and, and planning is, is key. And the... The parts where you're going to be practicing questions are absolutely crucial. So those stages that um, Nick mentioned, the question practice phase and the exam rehearsal phase, don't underestimate actually the amount of time that you're going to need um, for those. So practice, practice, practice. Question practice is so important. So in your study plan, allocate as much time um, as as you can to, to those aspects. Um, speaking from the perspective of um, previously working in the examining team um, where I was involved in actually writing the exams, um, it, all of the ACCA exams at, at all levels are um, applied. So in other words, um, applying knowledge to a scenario is, is what's required. So just having the knowledge isn't enough. So how do you know that you can apply it to a scenario? Well, it's question practice. That's what it comes down to. And um, once you begin to get closer to the exam and you're more in the exam rehearsal stage, that's really when you want to be doing your uh, question practice under timed conditions, because that will also allow you to practice your um, exam technique. So um, question practice, I think, is the, is the key message there. Excellent. Thank you. Shifting our focus slightly, so we're staying with self-study students, and we're thinking now about how students may use Study Hub chapters and quizzes as a key element in their study. What tips would you have, Nick, for, uh, for students, particularly relating to using the Study Hub chapters and the quizzes? Sure. Um, well, I think when you're studying using the chapters, it's important not to just sit there sort of passively reading through it, but try and do what I call active reading. So as you remember from the video, there's lots of tools in there, like the highlighting tool. So as you're going through the chapters, you know, make sure you're highlighting key information and just doing something active to keep your concentration up. Um, do work through the activities in the chapters. So don't just have a quick look at the activity and then go and look at the answer and say, oh, yes, I would have got that answer. Um, the only way you know if you would have got that answer is to actually do the activities properly. And if you get the questions wrong, you can click on the learn more about this topic. Now, similarly, at the end of each chapter, there are quizzes. They're, they're fairly short quizzes, but just um, do work through those quizzes. And again, if you get the questions wrong, click on the learn more about this topic um, just to make sure you can read through the, to the information to make sure you understand that topic better. So that would be my advice on working through the chapters. Thanks, Nick. Over to you, Catherine, your tips, please, on the use of Study Hub chapters and the quizzes. Thanks, Barry. Yeah, as we saw um, in the video, I think one of the key features when you're working through the study text is being able to um, rate your confidence level. I think this is a great thing. Um, it allows you to be honest with yourself and rate how well you think you understood something. and 
the areas where you feel slightly less confident, you can then go back and, and look at those again. So definitely make sure that you, you use that confidence level rating um, as you're working through. I think also um, just testing out different techniques that you can use whilst you're working through the chapters is a good thing to do at the outset and and eventually you'll find your own way that you like to do it so some people love the highlighting and they use that other people perhaps you know don't particularly like the highlighting but it's there as a tool that can be used and you know as you work through you'll figure out the way that you um, want to do it um, also just to point out something that was mentioned really briefly in the video, which I think is fantastic, is the toolbox. So there was a little toolbox icon. And within there, what you'll find is a little calculator that you can use um, on screen, or you can use your own calculator separately, obviously. But the most important thing I think in there is um, the formula sheet. So if there is um, a formula sheet or um, perhaps tax rates and allowances for the particular exam that you're working towards, that's where you'll find them. And it's so important to look in there. Um, we know from experience of the tax exams that <clears throat> a lot of students actually don't even use the tax rates and allowances um, in the exam. And of course, it's so important to use those because you then don't need to memorize all of the detail that um, that is on there. So what you'll find in Study Hub in the toolbox is exactly the same as what you'll find in the help facility in the actual um, exam. So make sure that you access that um, through the Study Hub whilst you're whilst you're studying. Thanks, Catherine. So we've already referred to uh, some of the key elements and the main types of content in Study Hub. The chapters themselves being a key part of that, the chapters uh, which cover the whole syllabus, they're comprehensive, and which provide the knowledge which you will need to apply when you're answering examination questions. So another key component of the Study Hub is the practice questions. So these are exam standard uh, questions that enable you to get used to applying the knowledge in a question that would be similar to that, that you would face in the examination. So thinking about how students can best use these questions within Study Hub. Catherine, we'll, we'll come to you first this time. What advice would you have for students when using the practice questions in Study Hub? Yeah, good question, Barry. I mean, I think the key thing about the practice questions within Study Hub is that they're exam standards. So if you're if you're doing those questions and, you know, you're kind of doing quite well, then that's going to be reassuring because you're going to know that you're about the right level um, um, in terms of being almost uh, exam ready. So they are the right level, the right um, standard. So potentially you don't want to do them too soon either. You know, if you've only just embarked on your studies, you perhaps don't want to suddenly launch into the into the practice questions. You'd actually be better with um, the chapter quizzes at that stage. So um, practice questions are exam standard and um, really, really good for, for right before you're about to sit your exam. Thanks, Catherine. Nick, coming to you now, could we have your thoughts, please, on how students can make the most of the practice questions in Study Hub? Yeah, sure, Barry. Yeah, thanks. Well, I'd like to just um, confirm the point that Catherine just made about making sure you don't do the questions too early. Um, but the other thing is, once you've finished the question, do mark it if possible. So go through the model answer and just look at the points they've got and compare them to the points you've got. Um, and if you're getting less than 50% on those questions, then that does suggest that perhaps your knowledge might be lacking in that particular area. If that is the case, you might consider going back to the study hub and just mugging up on that particular topic. Um, so that's what I'd say there. Um, just one other thing it might be worth mentioning is that the the model answers which are provided are, aren't really standard you'd be expected to write they're actually much better than you'd be expected to write because they're there for people to learn from so if your answer isn't quite as long as the answer in the back that doesn't matter um, as long as you're making good you know similar good points so that's what i'd say there 
Thanks, Nick. Hey. Great insight there. Thinking now about the practice platform and how in the lead up to examination, um, it's essential that students have experience of attempting real exams or exam standard questions in full um, under examination conditions in the practice platform in the environment that matches that you will see in the actual exam. So thinking now specifically about the practice platform, Catherine, if we come to you first, what tips would you have relating to use of the practice platform? Thanks, Barry. Yeah, um, I mean, the practice platform is brilliant, obviously. Um, so it, using it in conjunction with the study hub is just fantastic. So you're going to want to ask yourself at some point, am I exam ready? Um, so obviously, the closer you get to the exam, that's going to be in your mind. And it is a difficult question to answer. But as long as you're as prepared as possible, you're going to be in a strong position. So you'll have worked through ACCA Study Hub uh, chapters, you'll have worked through the quizzes, you'll have done some practice questions, and then you get to the point of wanting to actually sit um, effectively a mock exam under exam conditions within the practice platform. Now, the content of the practice platform is past exam questions. So um, they really are um, going to give you a really good idea of what the exam itself will be like um, using the same uh, com computer based environment that you're going to experience um, in the real exam. So this is how you're going to get yourself as exam ready as you possibly can. Um, also, another good tip is, you know, don't overdo it, but don't underdo it either. So how many mock exams would we sort of recommend that you do? And what we what we really say is probably at least two. I mean, it's different for everybody, but um, if you do less than two, you're perhaps not as ready as you could be any more than two and you might actually be a little bit worn out by the time the the real exam comes along so so at least two is is a good um, idea um, and our statistics do tell us um, which Barry uh, mentioned earlier that the overall pass rate for students who have used both the study hub and also the practice platform is significantly higher than those who have not. So make sure that you make really good use um, of both of these resources. Excellent advice. Thank you, Catherine. Nick, is there anything you would like to add in the context of use of the practice platform and the importance of mock exams? Yes, Barry. Well, this really applies to the more advanced strategic professional exams, what I'm going to say now. Um, those exams, I mean, all ACCA exams, application of knowledge is important, but at the strategic professional, they're really not testing your knowledge anymore. They're testing your ability to apply your knowledge in a very professional type way. So I think it's always good if you can to get somebody to look at your answer. So do your answer and then get somebody to look over it. If you have access to a tuition provider, that's that's fantastic. They will look at your mocks and mark them for you and give you great feedback. You may be in a situation where that isn't available, but is there somebody you can find, perhaps either a, a colleague at work who maybe has gone through ACCA or your boss, somebody who could just look through your answer for you and give you some feedback on the style of your answer and whether or not it looks professional and whether it answers the question. So that's what I would recommend. Great advice. Thank you, Nick. OK, changing our focus just slightly, we're now thinking about the ways in which students who are studying with an approved learning partner may use Study Hub and how their use of Study Hub may differ from how self-study students use the hub. Now, we do recognise that much of the advice and um, pointers that we've been giving so far do apply to all students, regardless of whether you're a self-study student or studying with a tuition provider. For example, all students need to gain the underlying knowledge required under the syllabus learning outcomes. They need to practise applying this knowledge to exam style questions and scenarios and they need to hone their examination technique that enables you to complete the examination within the required time and to the required standard. 
So thinking, as I said, about how students who have a tuition provider, so they have a tutor, may use the study hub. Let's start with you, Catherine. Do you have any uh, thoughts or advice to how somebody who is studying with a tuition provider and how they may use the study hub? Yeah, thanks, Barry. I mean, I think if you have a tuition provider already, um, you might use the study hub really just by kind of dipping in and out of it almost. So um, you might want to, rather than working your way through the, the whole study text, possibly you might want to focus on just testing yourself. So the chapter quizzes, for example, might become really useful for you. Um, you can also test yourself with the flashcards, as we've mentioned, and uh, the practice questions. So, so maybe more of a focus on those things rather than working your way through uh, the whole study text. Thanks, Catherine. Great. Nick, your advice for students who are studying with a tuition provider? Right. Well, I agree with Catherine that obviously you wouldn't be expected to move through the whole study hub if you're with a tuition provider. But one thing it can be useful for is sometimes you might come across a complex topic that you really don't understand using your own tuition provider's materials. And sometimes just seeing a slightly different explanation can help you understand something which wasn't very clear before. So, you know, if you're struggling with something like transfer pricing, then you might come to the study hub and look up transfer pricing and see how we've explained it. And our explanation might help clear that up, for example. So, um, so yeah, use it to sort of supplement what you've got to help give alternative explanations of complicated ideas. That makes sense. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. And as you were both speaking there, I think you both referred to dipping into the study hub um, if you're studying with a tuition provider using it as a more of a supplementary resource rather than as your your main resource. And one thing that came to mind while you were both speaking was the, the search functionality within Study Hub. So within the main menu of Study Hub, that's the, you know, the, the little icons at the top right of the screen. The last icon in that list is a search feature. And it, that's very handy if you are perhaps studying with a tuition provider. And as Nick and Catherine referred to, there's perhaps a, a topic that you want to dip into. A very quick way of identifying where that topic is covered within Study Hub is to use, use that search functionality. And so you put your, your the, the topic in or your, your term, your search term, and your results will show whereabouts in Study Hub that topic is covered, whether it's within the study chapters, um, the flashcards, or the, the practice questions. So that's a very, very handy feature to enable that more targeted type of study likely to be more appropriate if you're studying with a tuition provider. We're now going to consider another group of students. So these are research students. So perhaps um, somebody has sat an examination uh, previously, in which case they'll have worked through a significant amount of material in preparation for that examination. But unfortunately, has the, the, the student has been unsuccessful in that examination and needs to resit the exam. So how will that group use Study Hub? It would make sense perhaps to not start like a chapter one, go through the whole uh, or, you know, that would be the most time efficient approach to go through from chapter one to say chapter 20, because the student has already gained certain knowledge. That said, obviously, um, the exam result was unsuccessful. So something needs to change. The student does need um, to improve their knowledge and or improve their examination technique. So thinking specifically about research students, Nick, I'll come to you first. What approach would you recommend for students using the study hub who are studying towards a reset exam? Sure, Barry. OK, um, well, if your exam was not an applied skills exam, um, you won't get access to something which we're going to discuss later called the my exam performance feedback. So what you're going to have to do is make up your own feedback for how you did in the exam. So what you're going to need to do is just sit back and reflect on the exam and think about how it went. So were there any particular topics that came up that you feel you didn't know well enough? And if so, then go back to the study hub and 
work through those topics. It might be exam techniques. So think about how long you spent on each question. Did you run out of time at the end of the exam? So you got to the last question and only had five minutes to do that. If that's the case, then perhaps it's exam technique rather than technical knowledge, which is missing. But you need to sit back and try and think about what went wrong and make sure that when you retake the exam, you try to overcome those problems that you've identified in your in your self appraisal, as it were. Barry. Thanks, Nick. Catherine, your thoughts and advice for research students, please. Yeah, thanks, Barry. And uh, thanks, Nick. Yeah, I think um, if you're in the position of having been unsuccessful in an exam attempt, we really do know how disappointing um, this can be. You know, you'll have put a lot of hard work into that exam, so it can be difficult. But um, the good news is that the Study Hub resources are here to really support you um, studying towards your next um, exam attempt. So we suggest that you do actually tailor your um, use of the resources as Barry was um, mentioning. So if you didn't perform so well in your last attempt, um, a really effective way to tailor um, the use of the study hub is to use the feedback from the My Exam Performance Feedback Tool. So this is available if you're resetting an exam, which is at the applied skills level, other than for any of our variant exams, but all applied skills level exams, um, students now receive my um, exam performance feedback. And we're about to watch a little video on that, a short one, but it, you'll see from the video that you get um, feedback based on syllabus areas. And this is key to actually targeting the use of the study hub um, for your planning towards um, your second uh, or your, your next attempt. So um, back to you, Barry. Thanks, Catherine. And you've referred nicely there to the My Exam uh, Performance Tool. And we will now watch a very short video showing how this can be used. In this video, you'll learn how to navigate the syllabus section of the My Exam Performance platform and access resources to support you with future exams. The exam, dates, and feedback featured in this video are for illustration purposes only. Now let's look at the syllabus area. Click view detailed results from the performance dashboard page or choose the area from the menu on the left. This area provides a syllabus breakdown of your performance across your entire exam. In this illustrative example, the student has scored 53% of the available marks for syllabus section A. By selecting the performance feedback drop-down, we can see they've met the required standard for this part of the syllabus. By selecting the next steps drop-down, you're provided with more guidance on how to improve your score. In this illustrative example, since the student failed their exam, we've recommended they spend a little time revising the relevant chapters of our approved content when they prepare to retake their exam. And they may also benefit from looking at our technical articles covering this syllabus area. Remember to check out the available study support resources within the next step section on your performance dashboard. These are specially tailored to your exam performance feedback. We wish you the greatest success in your exams. Catherine, is there anything you would like to add in relation to my exam performance? 
Yeah, I mean, I think it's a brilliant tool. I certainly would have loved to get this sort of feedback um, when I was uh, sitting my professional exams. It's so useful and it's it's so much tailored to, to each individual. It's absolutely brilliant. So, you know, it really does allow you to really focus on your um, uh, work towards your your next uh, exam attempt so we saw in the video that uh, when you click on view detailed results and that's from the performance dashboard you get a really good breakdown of performance by syllabus area so then what we would suggest is uh, to improve your chances of passing uh, on your next attempt that you use the search facility in study hub so barry mentioned this before and you can type um, a key term into the study hub search facility and it's going to bring up absolutely everything to do with that area so um, it's going to bring up relevant chapters, quizzes, practice questions, flashcards, absolutely everything to then allow you to revise that particular um, syllabus area, which is going to effectively focus your um, revision towards your next attempt. So study have a great resource um, to be used along with the, the My Exam Performance tool. Thank you, Catherine. So we've talked about my exam performance in the context of one of the other additional resources that ACCA provide. Nick, are there any other resources that you would recommend? Yes, Barry, definitely. Um, there is the past examiner's reports, which are available after every exam. So after every exam, the examiner writes a report talking about how students did in that exam. And I think these are a must for anybody sitting the exam to read. Um, if you are resitting an exam, they're brilliant because the examiner will say where students went wrong in that exam and you can sit down and ask yourself, you know, did I make those mistakes that the examiner is talking about as well? But even if, you have, if you're not retaking an exam, if you're taking an exam for the first time, the examiner's reports are a great way of just finding out where people generally tend to go wrong and making sure you don't make the same mistakes. So that's a resource I would thoroughly recommend. Thanks, Nick. Great advice. A couple of other resources that, um, at, while you were speaking there, just, just came to me. I, I, one I really like is the Essentials on One Page resource. So that's also available in the Study Support Resources section of ACCA Global. And if you're wondering, you know, where do I start with all of the different resources, I think the Essentials on One Page resource is a very useful place um, to start. And that's held within the, the Getting Started section within each examinations page on ACCA Global. So I, I think another very useful resource. So we're almost ready to take some of the questions which have been received during the session. Uh, but before we do, we do have one final poll for you. So we hope the information we've provided today in the session about Study Hub has been useful, and we hope it will encourage you to use Study Hub. So the final poll on screen now. Will you use Study Hub to help you pass your next exam? Three possible answers. Yes, definitely. Unsure at the moment, or no, it's not for me. So if you would be able to, to answer, choosing A, B or C, please. Just giving a little bit of time. I can see there's around about 100 have responded at the moment. 200 going up quickly. So last couple of seconds, please. And we will then take a look at the results. Very pleased to see 0% and no, not for me. Excellent. <laughs> and yes, definitely 97. Goodness me. I think yeah. that's very, very yeah. high and, and great to see. Great to see. And absolutely, there's no point having a, a free resource available to you. Um, it can't help you if you don't use it. It's a bit like having a car and leaving it sat in the garage, taking the bus. You, you know, you must use the resource to get the benefit from it. That's not to say you can't use it in conjunction with other resources, such as we've said tuition, 
Um, some people have referred to approved content, such as BPP and Kaplan. Yes, there is still a place for that. Of course, there is. Study Hub just gives you um, additional choice. Um, Study Hub um, can be used in place of approved content, but we don't want to jump the gun. I think we will we will touch on that further when we get to the questions. So, your questions. So, there's been some um, consistent themes coming through in the questions that we've received, and one of the main themes has been, can I pass using Study Hub alone? Catherine, could you take that question, please? Yeah, thanks, Barry. Yeah, we get asked this question a lot. And the answer to that is basically, yes, you can. Study Hub gives you all the learning materials that you will need. So the syllabus will be fully covered for the exam that you are preparing towards. Um, so everything will be there. But what we do also highly recommend is that you use ACCA's practice platform as well. You really do need that exam practice um, under exam conditions. So the best way to get that is Study Hub and practice platform um, together. So all the learning materials give you everything you need, the study text, the quizzes, the flashcards, and um, the, the question uh, practice, sorry, practice questions. So yeah, everything um, is there. And if you add to that the practice platform and your own self-motivation, then you are absolutely going to be on track to success. Thanks, Catherine. Nick, we'll come to you for, for the next question. And the question is, how often is Study Hub content updated? Yeah, sure, Barry. I've seen, I've seen a few people asking this question, actually, in the Q&A. Um, well, it is, it is updated every year. So as the ACCA issues a new syllabus, learning outcomes, we make sure that our materials reflect those. Um, it's also assured there is a review process where having written the materials, somebody within ACCA also reviews it just to make sure that we have covered all of those. Um, we also update for changes in regulations. So for example, new IFRSs or new tax regulations and so on. So yeah, it is updated, it's kept up to date. And in fact, um, we'll be, we will be um, releasing our new edition for next year's exams shortly, but I'm sure we'll talk about that later on. So thanks, Nick. Yeah, yeah. I, I might actually just expand on that um, since you brought it up straight away. So yes, many of the um, much of the content on Study Hub will expire after the June exam session with the syllabus year starting from September. So for those exams, we will be updating the content very soon after June examination week. So that content will be up in June and that will be valid for the first examination sitting in September 2024. In future years, we may, we can't promise at the moment, but we may actually bring that forward and have the um, the content available earlier. Now that would give self-study students in particular more time to study for the September examination. Balancing that, it could be confusing when we've got two sets of content live on Study Hub for each exam. So there's a, there's a little bit of an internal discussion going on there, but ultimately we, we believe the benefits to students of having the material available earlier will outweigh any, any other concerns and it will be up to us just to make sure that we make sure that students um, access the, the correct content. Okay, uh, the next question, and I think po possibly um, the motivation behind this question is to to gauge the, the, the quality of the Study Hub content. Um, we'll come to you first, Catherine, with this one, if that's okay. Who writes the Study Hub content? Yeah, um, interesting question, Barry. Yeah, thanks for that. So we have a team of subject matter experts. So we are all uh, part of that team, all three of us here. Um, we're all professionally qualified. We have a wealth of expertise 
in content creation and in teaching, which we've all gained in a range of accounting and tax education roles for professional bodies, um, as well as content providers and universities. So as well as this, we've all got extensive experience in um, accounting practice and also in industry. So although you're only seeing three of us here, there are others um, within our team who just aren't on, on the call um, today. So a really great team. And as Nick already mentioned, all the content is written, but then also peer reviewed. So it's absolutely quality assured to the highest level. Um, you can definitely be guaranteed that it is um, accurate, that it's up to date, it's fully comprehensive, expert reviewed. Um, so you can um, feel reassured that it is going to give you what you need to um, be on track to to passing your next exam. Thanks, Catherine. Well, time has flown. That hour has gone very quickly. I know I've enjoyed it. I can tell uh, Catherine and Nick have enjoyed it. We hope you've enjoyed it. And we hope you've really got something beneficial out of the session and that we've inspired you to go and continue your studies and to use Study Hub. So all I can do is to say thanks very much, thanks for attending, thanks for your attention, and to wish you every success in your examinations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.